sit down for this one. You're probably not ready for it. I'm ready, I'm ready. No, you ain't. SpongeBob changes a lot over the years, but at its heart, there's one thing that's always been true. The show is a comedy. Whether or not the newer seasons make you laugh is entirely up to the viewer, but at the very least, the show has never lost sight of the tone it wants to be. Of course, the golden era of the show in the first few seasons was much different in the kinds of jokes we'd get. More often than not, the comedy could appeal to adults. SpongeBob is a kind of cartoon you can watch at two different points in your life and gain a brand new perspective on everything. These these first three seasons had cleverly written jokes that stand the test of time, but every once in a while, there's something a little different. Sometimes a joke hits so hard that for a brief moment, you aren't even sure if you're supposed to laugh. Upon revisiting the golden era and watching a bunch of old clips on YouTube, I saw something depressing. The scene happens in the episode Doing Time. Mrs. Puff finds herself in prison, while SpongeBob and Patrick have a single goal in mind, help her escape. Over the course of the episode, they'll do whatever it takes to save their good old teacher. But after expressing her her surprising joy for prison life, we get a scene that deserves way more attention. She's forgotten what it's like to live on the outside, to not be in prison. Coming to bed, honey? Yes, dear. On a surface level, this is really funny. When you're a kid watching, you sort of just laugh it off because you don't know any better. You assume life will be endlessly filled with freedom and fun, but no. These 10 seconds reveal otherwise. Throughout the cutaway of a poor fish's daily life, he drives to work and endlessly waits in traffic. He sits down at the generic workplace along with all the other frowning characters. At the end of the day, he stares outside the window of his home, the same sadness never leaving his head. He lets out a quiet, Yes, dear and is miserable. For a lot of people in real life, this represents their reality. It's the same old boring cycle of waking up, doing work, and going to sleep. It's not necessarily something we can control, considering that's just how society is built, and it's what we're trained to do since the beginning. Watching this episode for the first time when you're young is just 10 seconds that pass by for a laugh. But when you go 10 or 15 years later, you might find yourself in a similar position as this guy. Because the scene goes by so fast, there's something you may not have noticed. During every shot featuring the background character, there's always some kind of bar in front of him, right in the middle of his car window, in front of him while he does his work. He also has zero escape from the cubicle, with no doors or openings to leave. There's also the window trapping him inside his home, so there's no escaping that way. All of this is clearly meant to show us one thing. Despite living what some would consider a successful life, he's still trapped. Physically and mentally, he's behind bars. He may not officially be in prison, sure, but he's caged into a never-ending loop of the same boring routine each day. Nothing changes for him, and not once does he smile. It's a funny joke for the episode, but incredibly depressing at the same time. Of course, even this background fish has a few things going for him that not everyone else does. He has a car, a stable job, a home, and even a wife. You could argue that he's living it better than others, and he probably is. But in terms of the mental state of going through the same thing all the time, yeah, he's at rock bottom. See, this is why Sp SpongeBob is timeless. You gain a new appreciation for scenes that are more than 20 years old because they're as funny and relatable now as they've been before. But alright, is there any way to break the chain of sadness that this fish goes through? How can we avoid dreading the daily work life? I can't give you an official answer because I don't know, but here's how I think this scene could help people. If you're watching this and think to yourself, I don't want my life to be like that, then good! That's the first step. Understand that this isn't what you want, and work towards a job that would make you happy while still being reasonable with the skills you have right now. Not all of our lives have to be like this if we make an effort to avoid it, but it may not be easy. Cutaway gags in SpongeBob don't happen all the time, but when they do, the team knows how to pull them off. Family guy, you've got some competition. And I don't think it's possible to beat this. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.